Hello everyone and welcome to the first of two Metal Gear Solid 5 wrap up videos now that I have finally gone the distance. I finally got over the line with Metal Gear Solid 5. It took me over four months to get there. Not something that I am proud of for sure. Lots of reasons, some legit, some me just not wanting to, to play it on a certain night. Um, and just life got in the way and went that it was extended beyond what it should have been. So I do apologize for it taking so long. But equally, I want to thank everybody who joined me. They had a, there was a number of really cool people who stuck with me pretty much for the entire four months from start to finish. And I'm sure they wanted to see me get over the line quicker than I did. So yeah, thank you to everybody who stuck with me throughout the entire playthrough, held my hand, filled in some blanks, all that kind of good stuff. You guys know who you are. Um, and yeah, it was in fact those guys who suggested to do this video in the first place. So what we're going to do in this video, um, we are going to review two story centric videos i think they are uh, one is called episode 51 and one is a hidden cutscene to do with the nuclear disarmament um i don't know i think the first one in particular is like a i don't know if it's a fan made thing i heard i heard that word fan made ending or something like that at some point so i don't know if that is what this is um but they're both related to the story so hopefully they'll help fill in some blanks for me and then the other three videos at the end are kind of like small cutscenes that perhaps i missed throughout the playthrough during uh during my time with it so it might just be that i had to do a certain thing to trigger it or whatever it was so we'll watch those uh thanks to uh to vinal who suggested to watch these and, and everybody else as well it was vinal who sent me the links um and then after we've done this video after i've reacted to this and given my thoughts we are going to do then do a second video which will be the metal gear solid 5 review video where i talk about the whole game collate my thoughts um and yeah give my final kind of verdict on the game in the same way that i did with the other metal gears when i played those through over the last year in fact it is almost by the time this video goes out it will almost be a year to the day that i started this metal gear journey august the first i think last year was the time that the first metal gear video went out for metal gear one um metal gear solid one i should say during retro month last august so that was uh that was quite a Quite the start to a journey. I cannot believe it's been a year since I started this journey. And what a journey it has been. Uh, right, okay. Uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's get on into this. Okay, right. So here we are. Um, just to, for complete uh, transparency, this is the video we're using. Inza, 500 subscribers. 1.5 million views on the video itself. So this will be the first one we watch. Um, let us full screen it. Let us make sure everything is working. It is. Are we all working? I think we are. Are we working? Yes, we are. Right, let us begin then. I see ways. I may have to pause this along the way. So let me just, because I want to make sure that I get everything here. Uh, parting ways with Snake. Eli seizes control of Salhanthropus and leaves Diamond Dogs with his fellow child soldiers. That is a good point, actually. Now that I think about it, this never got. This part of the story never got closure, did it? He ran away with the with Sananthropus. And that was it. We never we never saw or heard from him again. We obviously we know who it is. We know it's liquid. But that was kind of just brushed aside and forgotten about. I mean it's kind of a big thing that this kid has run off with a fucking great big mech. And it was never really mentioned again. So is this the is this the fan made ending? Boss, about Eli and his boys. You know where they went. We're still working on it, but the chopper pilot they had fly them out of here is back. Ooh. And he said once Sahalanthropus and the chopper got out to sea, they split up and headed in different directions. The chopper headed straight for Africa. They made it about fifty miles inland before running out of fuel. The kids used vines and duct tape to tie the pilot to his seat before they disappeared. He was almost dead from dehydration when the medics found him. They left him alive on purpose. Yeah, they're calling us out. They want to settle this. The intel team are using the direction Sahelanthropus headed and the direction the kids took off in to narrow down the search area. And with Hewick helping out, it won't be long before we know where Eli is. There's just one thing that bothers me. What's that? Apparently, there are already men going around the nearby villages asking for witnesses of the giant in the sky. Already. So they all saw it's clearly it. business as usual for Cypher, even with Skullface gone. They must have been dying to get Sahalanthropus back ever since Afghanistan. And if they beat us to it, a 
be getting more than that. Eli's carrying the English strain of the vocal cord parasite. Oh boy. Intel team tracks down Eli Track based on the leads from the helicopter pilot. They've spread the parasite across the island. It won't affect you if your voice hasn't broken. So they're safe. For now. Eli's driven all the adults on so, the island. Did he just did he just reference the fact that the parasite won't recognize your voice if it's in like a higher octave because obviously as the kids grow up and they hit puberty their voice will drop is that what he was suggesting now i think it was so the kids are safe for the time being the is officially in session his own version of lord of the flies i'm just gonna go back and saying eli has been infecting xrf scouts with parasites to breed more of the english strain recess is officially in session his own version parasites of cannot survive in salt water so they are confined to the island head. Sahelanthropus. And they so. with something worse than flies. They presented one demand in exchange for the nuke. Big Boss's body. What? Those kids have got a lot to learn. Okay, Boss. The objective is to recover Sahelanthropus and the children. Eli included. Recapture Sahelanthropus, eliminate the English vocal cord parasites, and rescue the children. Once you're in the air, we'll hit the island with napalm. Can't let those things spread. It gets worse. Here's the tape from when Eli took off. <coughs> Sorry, the, 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 the text is moving quite quickly here, and I'm trying to not only read, but I'm trying to listen as well. To defend against parasites, the extra strike force is equipped with white hazmat suits and masks. Where is he? I told you, your father's not here. <coughs> that back. His voice is starting to change, meaning he's almost a man. So if he's carrying the English language strain, well... Start showing symptoms, it's over. I just looked at them, so some of victims of the booby trap set by the children. Jesus, they went to full home alone, did they? I'm, yeah, 99% certain this is fan made, but I guess the point that saying that it's fan made is, is brilliant that somebody has come up with this and done this. Um, but obviously, they're using audio from the game, so am I misremembering? No, I can't be. This must be unused audio footage and whatever. Oh, oh. <laughs> I've just read what's on the screen. Characters, mechs, background models, animations and effects in the following cutscene represent incomplete assets. So effectively what they've done is that they've stolen, well, borrowed assets that weren't complete. As we know, this was, a, was not ever really fully complete and they've finished the game off themselves in effect. Fuck it, hell. So this cutscene is thirty percent complete. So what we're about to see perhaps was intended to be in the game then, and perhaps it is going to give us a far better closure than what was on the disc. Of course, as we know, this is not Big Boss. Anyway, this is uh, this is Venom. Second Big Boss, Big Boss backup, Big Boss B. Oh, there it is. Chilling out in the cockpit as you do. That's Eli, isn't it? Because he had the red hazmat suit on. That's what the uh, intro said. Did the kids not have any protective stuff on? Did they have masks on? Oh, there's the XOF closing in. Closing in from all sides. They really are closing in from all sides. I mean, how is Eli at the top, at the very top of Salanthropus not seeing all of these soldiers closing in from above and around him? The child soldiers I can understand because they're lowered to the ground. They won't see the ones above. Oh, 
Is she gonna take him out? Ah! Perfect timing. No, the kids don't have any gas masks on. Boys are in trouble now. Well, this isn't ideal, is it? Where's the fire coming from? Our boy, uh, Psychomantis. And he knows we're here. You'll be dead before you have a chance. I'm free to die however I wish. Yes. Free. You don't get the last word, Father. I'll break the curse of my heritage. And to do that, so here's the other thing right so he's saying father because he obviously again I'm, my memory's a little hazy you'll have to forgive me if this isn't completely true but of course he, we know that liquid and uh solid snake is that his name? Is that the correct term from uh the other from the other time frame you know later on in the in the metal gear franchise they are clones, aren't they, from Big Boss? Of course, this isn't Big Boss. This is Venom Snake, which is not the actual Big Boss. So he's looking for revenge on, on somebody that is not actually his father. Battle ensues between the manned version of Sahalanthropus, piloted by Eli, and the combined forces of the Diamond Dogs. Oh, we get some backup, do we? How fucking cool would this mission have been? So is this like the unfinished final mission of the game? And he is tearing diamond dogs to pieces. Thanks to Snake's effort in battle, Eli is finally defeated.
We get a cutscene of it as well. Bosh. Due to Snake's head injury, the blast triggers a seizure, affecting his vision. He is sporadically unable to differentiate between red and white. Control. He must use first person view to shoot the stuff. Oh, and then he, due to snakes and the player's color blindness, Eli's red suit appears white. And he just shot Eli. Venom believes he's Big Boss, right? So he thinks he's just shot his son. So I'm assuming, yeah, Venom, I mean, Venom believes he is Snake, right? There's so, honestly, there's so much. <clears throat> I'm trying to piece everything together in my head. It's giving me a freaking headache. Is he alive? Give me some room. Yes, he is. He's got armor on. He'll be all right. The best of the boy. Get him on the chopper. We'll patch him up at base. Oh, is he infected? Hmm? <gasps> Boss, he's showing symptoms. Huh? <gasps> what? <gasps> oh, I was created by Cypher. I was the floor. My fate was written in my genes. I'm a loser. You. All because of you. I'm not me. I'm just a copy of you. I will surpass my father. 
destroy my father. Destroy you. I'll kill all a cipher. I'll destroy your precious world. Code red, code red. We need to go fast. How's it going over there? There's nothing you can do for him now. Island's completely contaminated. Orders are to use napalm to sanitize. Sanitize every square inch. Prepare to drop. We're pulling out. Move! What's he going to do with Eli? When, on the assumption that he grows up and com completely turns into uh, Eli. Uh, Eli completely turns into liquid, sorry, is what I mean. I will kill you! That's right. Don't blame yourself. Blame me. So the Anthropist is still alive as well? Or are they... Oh no, they're taking it back. In pieces by the look of it. What the fuck? Did he just cure him of the vocal cord parasite? Did he just take him out of him? Not yet. It's not over yet. Well, that would... No, 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 stop. Um, that would, um... That would make sense, right? In terms to... Uh, how the rest of the Metal Gear's played out. So that does tie it in far, far better. At least with my... Somewhat filled in understanding of everything in the world of Metal Gear. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's a real shame that that was not in the game. I think that's my overriding feeling, is that that, that mission not only would have been really freaking cool, it would have tied up a, f a few things, not least the fact that 
when we last saw Eli and the Sathanthras, they were just running away and then we never saw them again, which was a massive plot hole now that I think about it. I'd kind of almost forgotten that it had happened when I played it through. Um, so, yeah, it does it does tie things off. That probably would have been a far better ending to things. But, yeah, I mean, it's a bit... I don't know why Venom doesn't... I mean, he obviously believes that it is his son and he can't, he can't bring himself to, to kill him. But he is effectively committing him to death by leaving him behind to be burned alive by Napalm. So... Would it not have been easier just to shoot him and put him out of his misery? I don't know. Um, so, yeah, but no, that was good. That was really, really good. Uh, it's just a shame that it took uh, a fan-made thing afterwards to tie it all together. Really well put together, by the way. Really well put together. So, yeah, just another evidence of a, of a game that was never really realised to its true potential for one reason or another. Uh, right. Nuclear disarmament, hidden cutscene, this one. Uh, 31st of the 8th, 8.59. This world has been... The world have been has been rid of every last nuclear weapon. Full screen. The last nuke's been decommissioned. It's over, boss. I thought this day would never come. So this must be somewhat in the future, I would presume. But while we can rejoice, we must never relax. Diamond Dog. The last nuke was deactivated. That is a fact. But the knowledge it's that built it is still the child there. soldiers. How long the world remains nuke-free is up to us. Will this moment persist? Or will human ambition cast us into the flames once more? We hope. We have no tomorrow, but there's still hope for the future. That's not his... It doesn't sound like uh, Miller's voice. As of this day, the nuclear game set a light on the plains of Amo Gordo in July of 1945 has been extinguished. Oh, the nuclear flame, I suspect, I suspect that's meant to be. Our duty is to pass on what we've learned to the next generation. Maybe it is Miller's voice, the memories, actually. The experiences. The sins. It sounded a bit odd for some reason. Only when our children show the wisdom not to forge new spears. Only then will we be truly triumphant. I should probably point out just while we, before we go on that uh, we're using Spy007, another one with less than a thousand subscribers but half a million views on the video. What did that say there? There is no nuke. This is the no nuke video. To trigger this cutscene, you need to disarm every single FOB nuke. Good luck with that. Every one of us has chosen the path of nuclear disarmament. Out of ethics or desire, government policy, military strategy, whatever the reason, it's our path too. And each step forward makes it more solid. have stabilized but there's no telling how many will make it the warhead we seized ruptured during transport recovering the leaked material exposed each of them to several hundred rats environmental contamination was kept to a minimum thanks to their efforts heroes every one of them it's almost like the uh, 
liquidators at Chernobyl, giving their giving their bodies and lives for the cleanup. We finished dismantling the warhead. The nuclear material has been vitrified and sealed away. It'll take at least 30 years of cold storage before it's safe. And even then, we can't just dump it in the sea, bury it in the desert. Multiple nuclear cases. disarmament. Boss, we can't let this achievement go to waste. And that means we'll have to get stronger. program will go unseen. If someone manages to build another nuke, we'll be there to shut him down. Gotta love the irony. The voice, the voice acting, they don't sound like the actual actors. Went from over 6,000 nukes. Down to nothing. Thanks to the Diamond Dogs. It's quite something. In the 1980s, there were a total of more than 60,000 nuclear warheads in the world at all times. Total destructive power amounted to one million times that of the Hiroshima A bomb. Holy shit. In July 1993, Start 2 was signaled was signed in the United States and Russia agreed to reduce the number of deployed strategic nuclear warheads to 3,000 to 3,500 each nation by December 31st, 2000. However, as of 1998, there still exist 26,000 nuclear warheads in the world. From the first Metal Gear Solid game. Today, the Cold War has disappeared, but thousands of those weapons have not. It's crazy to think how many nukes there are in the world in the hands of morons. In a strange turn of history, the threat of global nuclear war has gone down, but the risk of a nuclear attack has gone up. More nations have acquired these weapons. Testing has continued. Black market trade in nuclear secrets and nuclear missiles materials abound. The technology to build a bomb has spread. Terrorists are determined to buy, build, or steal one. Our efforts to contain these dangers are centered on a global non-proliferation regime. But as more people and nations break the rules, we could reach the point where the sensor cannot hold. It only takes one, doesn't it? it? only takes one person, one idiot in the world to do it. As of 2015, there still exists over 16,000 nuclear warheads in the world. I mean, they're coming down, but I mean, it's... I haven't forgotten what you told me, boss. That's more like the voice actor we know. We have no tomorrow. But there's still hope for the future. In our struggle to survive the present, we push the future farther away. Will I see it in my lifetime? Probably not. Which means there's no time to waste. Someday the world will no longer need us. No need for the gun. Or the hand to pull the trigger. I have to drive out this demon inside me. Build a better future. That's what I, what we, will leave as our legacy. Another mission, right, boss? Boss, it looks like someone's developed nukes again. 
Oh. I guess maintaining a nuke-free world is going to be harder than the disarmament ever was. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah. Another very, very cool... It doesn't really add too much to the story. It's obviously just a hidden cutscene, isn't it? To, to show you what you could have seen. Uh, what did it say in the description? <laughs> Excuse me. So, FOB, that's the, that's the online stuff, isn't it? The FOB missions. Which is something I never really did. So, that's obviously a cutscene that was never going to be um, given to me anyway. But no, it's uh, it's a stark vision of the future, isn't it? Because I've always maintained, and I'm going to go, I'm going to get deep with you guys here for a second. I've ne I've always maintained that no one will launch a nuke because if they do, they will be bombed back to the Stone Age by everybody else. You know, everyone threatens nukes. But no one, I, I genuinely don't think, maybe this is a delusional belief, I don't know, but I genuinely don't think that anyone's got the bollocks to do it. Not Putin, not North Korea, uh, not China, not even a terrorist organization. I don't think it's got the bollocks to do it. Maybe a terrorist organization, perhaps, because they kind of operate without rules, without government, etc., etc. But I just don't think they'll do it. I think that the, the threat of doing it is all they'll ever do. You know, imagine, ima just imagine for a second that Russia was to nuke the States or, or even the UK. You know, the, the fallout and the devastation would be absolutely catastrophic beyond anything that we've ever witnessed in history. But the retaliation from the world would be 10 times worse. Russia or whoever is launching the nuke would have to take out every single nation in the world with nuclear capabilities um, to to prevent a retaliate, retaliatory strike. And also the technology exists so much now in terms of the big Western countries, UK, America, and um, probably Russia and China and those places as well, is to actually sort of see it coming and shoot them down and et cetera, et cetera. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm probably going a bit too deep here into the realms of the unknown and things that I don't actually understand or, or know about. But... Um, yeah, that that's my view on it. Perhaps it's a it's a fool's belief. Perhaps it's a fool's um, opinion to have because it's more based on hope than anything else. But I just hope that no one will ever do it because what would be left of the world after a nuclear strike? Because it wouldn't just be one; there'd be multiple. You know, I don't know how many warheads are left in the world, but there's a lot. A lot of them held by big European or sorry, big Western powers. Um, and I just hope that that never comes to fruition. I honestly hope for a day, one day, where the human race evolves to a point where they think, what the fuck are we doing? Destroying our own planet. Why on earth are we at war with each other? Why do, why, why do we not just hold hands and actually make everyone's lives better and therefore make everyone happier? I mean, again, if it's a fool's hope, of course, that's never going to happen. That is a, a, a silly and... A dream that is never likely to come to pass but yeah anyway that is uh that's the second of the five video done uh that was a really cool cutscene. let's now move on to i think some more cutscenes that we'll get that could have been triggered throughout the campaign cool little side plots we're using uh stranding reaper here Forty-three thousand views on this one let's check this one out um so the soldiers fight scenes this is obviously something that happens maybe we go back to mother base maybe this cut maybe this is triggered because um, we've, we've heard, sorry, before this carries on, we've heard numerous times throughout the game that when we don't go back to Mother Base after a while, the staff morale drops, and Ocelot says about, you know, making sure that you come back regularly to see the men and showing your face sort of thing. So maybe this is a, a cutscene that is triggered off the back of that. Proper haymakers going in here. <laughs> Oof. There's more than just a fight now. We 
Don't draw weapons on comrades. Look around you. This is your family. Show's over. Get out of here. Of course. These are bad for you, you know. <laughs> Morale has fallen. No. They just need a mission. Orders to follow. You see someone stuck in the waiting room, you give them a job to do. You two. You just earned yourself a week in the brig. Deck cleaning duty by Jim. No, wait. You've got some blood to pay me back for first. Your CQC is sloppy. Come see me later for a lesson you won't forget. Mm-hmm. Taken care of. Clouds approaching. Very cool. I don't know if that was actually him, was it? What is he doing? I'm entirely sure what this person playing this is, is doing here. Other than just laying out his stuff. Okay, right, well, I think we've seen the. Uh, I think we've seen the end of that one. Yeah, I think I was right. I think that was a, a scene that is triggered uh, to get this scene. Key, uh, your GMP needs to be. Oh right, so you actually need to be in negative money. Okay. Uh, right, for this one. Snake, you stink. Okay, well, I think this one is fairly self-explanatory. This is the one I was trying to get for ages. And I think I left I left it too late in the game. Nice yeah, and you can hear today, <laughs> Welcome back, boss. <laughs> Another successful mission. How bad does it have to be to have flies around you? Jesus Christ, is he rotting? Stay safe, boss. Snake, you stink. <laughs> yeah, nice and nice and quick one that one. Uh, thanks to Duck Three Sixty Gaming for that one. And finally, the birthday Easter egg. Uh, your loyal soldiers at Mother Base have a small surprise in store for you when you visit. Oh, I've heard about this one. Somebody said about this. You can set the system clock ma manually to get it. So, yeah, because at the very start, I asked for your birthday. And I'm pretty sure I didn't put one in correctly, and I think I missed it. Uh, what is this? Is this a game? Is this game spot? It is game spot. Fireworks, snake, it's not gunfire. <laughs> Fuck's sake.
But actually got us lot of Miller to this. I mean, I think we, we all would like to see, you know, Quiet involved in this as well, for obvious reasons. <laughs> stuff. Hey! <laughs> it's a cool cake, though. <laughs> Happy birthday, Snake. <laughs> It sounds like there's a lot more people clapping than, than, than that are there. Unless there's a whole bunch above. There we go. Nice. Well, there we go, ladies and gents. Um, that is... Uh, that is a look. Uh, I enjoyed those cutscenes, especially the first two. They were very cool. The, the very first one, in fact, was, was obviously the, the best one because it's the... Um, has the most implications on the story. It is kind of the final part of the story that we should have seen. Or one of, perhaps. I don't know what else we had. That was uh, that was planned that never made it into the final cut um so yeah there we go that sort of brings to an end the metal guess are metal guess sort of five phantom pain journey i will have a review video that goes up at some point after this one releases uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that thank you again to everybody who's joined me on this journey make sure you like make sure you comment make sure you subscribe all those good things and uh, yeah we'll see you all for the review video um, maybe I, I had a, an idea as well to do like a video of, of like ranking not any of the gamers but the characters and stuff like that I think that could make for a cool video so I'll probably do that as well um, but until those videos come out thank you very much everyone enjoy the rest of your day week etc etc and we'll see you all with the next one bye